So this morning, opened up my computer, got onto YouTube, checked out my usual comments and things like that, and I noticed Nobby had come up with another update. And I've got to thank Nobby yet again. He must sit there all day <laughs> waiting for these updates. Anyway, got to thank him for that. So there's a new update on your iOS phone, which is uh, 1.17.6, and it also be for your RC2, and also for your uh, Pro 2 controller. You know what, I always get this one wrong. Anyway, what I did notice, it's not really a firmware update, but if you go into your profile, and then go into settings, now when I first opened this up, because I did a quick check first, where it says about, there was actually no little red dot there. But if there's a red dot there, which there is now, if you just tap on that, that will come up, check for updates, and you can see it already, uh, V1.17.6. So we just click on that. And there it is, update. Now, I would imagine it's not going to take long. So that's downloading. And to prove that that's downloading, if I come out of that... There it is. Right, so there, you can see it's downloading there. I'm going to go and do this one while that's going on. There it's come up now. Right, so you, you've got to persevere a bit, guys, because it doesn't always come up straight away. So that's downloading there. Right, so this one's nearly done now. Now, if you noticed, I'm loading up my flip. Unfortunately, if you watched my previous videos, my DJI Mini 4 Pro is out of action. And, and what I'm doing, I'm waiting, <laughs> also getting in training to eat my hat, of course, but I'm waiting to get the Mini 5 Pro, which is coming out, I think, about the 17th of September, I believe. I don't know how true that is. So many rumours, but I presume that's the date that they've said. This one's still going. This one's still downloading. Okay, that's interesting. So on my Pro 2... For your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. <laughs> so this is something that I've been getting lately on this, which is getting a bit annoying, really. Right, so this is a new version on here. Now, I had to go back into this. Um, okay, so you, you see this sign that's just come up now. Now this is something that I've had a few problems with because trying to update, trying to upload, sorry, trying to upload apps onto this has been a nightmare and I've just given up on that. But because this is a DJI machine, anyway, I'll just go into the settings. Okay, allow this source. So that was off. So hopefully um, that will resolve that. Uh, about, check for updates, okay, here we go again, not always, um, <laughs> okay, so that, that's, that's ready now, so that's something else to remember guys, making sure that you've got that on, so you can download this app, even though this is a DJI machine, interestingly, okay, I'm just going to install that, Right, so that's all been done. I just thought I'd show this as well because I know some people were going to say, hang on a minute, well, I'm having a problem here. Like anything, with any updates, these machines don't always just are straightforward. So I can shut this one down, so that's been done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to install I'm going to connect up my flip because I haven't flown my flip for a while, but I've been flying over drones on, on this controller. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to connect my flip to this, even though it's still charging. So I'm going to un unplug that for the moment. And we're going to turn it on, removing the protective cover, pull out the blades, now officially that should just open up, which it has. Okay, just let that load up first. So what we'll do now, 
I'm just going to take you through the process of uh, connecting this up. So the flip. Always wait for that little bit of software. Okay, so that's been linked to that. So it looks like it's gone straight in, which does amaze me. But anyway, it's gone straight in. So the other thing we need to do, guys, before we go out and fly the drone, is just check the settings to see if anything's changed. And just by looking onto the, the screen there, that all looks fine. Because so we got to the three dots. Uh, we just go through, obviously, break. Don't want it crashing down anything. Got return to home altitude. They're all looking good. Advanced settings, don't need that so much. Right. I'm Imperial, they haven't changed that. Got the follow on. That's all good. Camera. Just got on normal. From what I can see, nothing's changed at all. Um, what I will do, now I've got it here, is I'll just format my card. One of the things that I always do before I go out anyway. So now we've got a nice empty card. So that's been done. Um, and we just check on the main page. So there we've got the latest versions, which is the 1.17.6. Yeah, so. So the next time you're going to see me, guys, is when we're going to go outside and fly the drone, see if there's anything different. If we've got any problems, we shouldn't have. So, see you in a moment. So I'm out on location. I've got my RC2, I've got my flip. I've updated the app, obviously. I've got 15 satellites. I've already got the um, home point already done. So let's get on with it. Oh, the take off. Take off. Okay. Home point update. It's a little bit windy, but we're gonna send it on up. that'll do okay so we're just gonna do a bit of flying first I'm just gonna put the gimbal down and we're just gonna fly around this tower here. <laughs> okay Put the gimbal up. Up a little bit more. Okay, let's see if we can do a couple of things with this. Let's do the master shots. Okay, let's just bring the drone. This is the, the thing that I normally do, is the master shots, because that does everything, really. Just get myself lined up. Okay, knock that off a minute. Bring it in closer. Okay, so we're all ready. I'm quite happy with the perimeters. Three, two, one.
and it's back to where it was, which that's good. So we're going to come out of that. I think we go into quick shots. We just try a couple of things. But I think the main one has been the rocket, especially with me, but I think on the flip it's all right. Draw a box around me, altitude. Let's bring that up as well. Let's do 260. Yeah, that's good. So the rocket. Two, one. I always give it a thumbs up. Because <laughs> you never know. I mean, that, that's all looking fine. We're still climbing. Still climbing up. Got it on video as well. I'm just going to change the map while we're doing that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's been completed. The drone's coming back in. We'll just see what happens with the gimbal. But at the moment, it's looking fine. Yep. Yeah. So, guys. <laughs> well, this has come out of that. Landing. Butterfingers. Anyway. <laughs> Aircraft pitch, yep. Yeah. So, let's get back to the studio. So, I've just got back in. Guys, I couldn't see anything wrong with it. I couldn't see anything what's changed. The only other thing I could think of possible, are they getting ready for the new launch of the Mini 5 Pro? And I'm on about getting the app set up ready for... Uh, the new launch maybe i don't know there's also another one that's coming out very soon as well is the uh the dji neo 2 but from what i could see on the controller nothing new there the flip flew perfectly i must say um i did check just on youtube just in case i had missed something and from what i can see nothing's been missed so guys it's safe to update with your fly app and remember, it's only an update for the fly app. Nothing to do uh, with a firmware update to do with the controller or the drone, really. Um, as I mentioned with the RC Pro 2, little bit of a hiccup there, but as always, you just have to persevere with it, just making sure that you've got the, the, the button on when you're receiving an app, even though, as I said before, it's a DJI device, which should should just go straight in, but anyway, it didn't. So that was a bit of a hiccup, but that, that was solved. So at the end of the day, everything's fine. Now, some people will say, was well, it worth me doing it? To me, it's always worth doing an update, guys. Even though it's a pain in the arse sometimes, it can take, I don't know, 10 minutes to probably an hour. But I think it's always best to have an update because when you're out on the ground and you're flying your drone and you have a problem... Is it because you didn't do that update? But that's your decision. As always, there's going to be another video coming right. Smile. Mm -hmm.